Hey guys, this week we're working on dealing with the floor and being able to move around comfortably on the floor. We've had a lot of people come in recently and they say, I want to be able to get to the floor and get up again after playing with my grandson. Or I just want to spend more time on the floor with my kids and I don't want my knees and my hips and my ankles to hurt. So we're going to go over some patterns today that you can learn to sit in and develop some hip mobility. Later on in another week, we'll cover how to get back up and how to build strength in those patterns. So the first one is very simple. This is a figure four position. So depending on how much I space out my legs here, if I increase this distance, it's gonna be a lot harder on my hips, especially that back hip. You're gonna to start to feel a cramp happening up here if you really open that up. So in the beginning, feel free to start nice and close to the body. And then you can even use your hands to kind of open up the shape a little bit, maybe spend some time. Try to take away the hands, hold for a moment, come back. You can switch sides as well over the top, right? Or you can use your hands to switch underneath. Okay, so just getting used to spending some time on the floor. A lot of us do this intuitively, but it can get lost. So the second one moving from this position is the hurdler position, right? So I'm going to take this front leg and I'm actually just going to straighten it out. Now this one can be a bit uncomfortable for people. So this leg in the back is going to sneak in a little bit and this knee might move up a little bit. The real challenge is getting this knee in line with the back hip. So I push it back a little bit. And then the second challenge is getting this leg away from the butt here. So the heel leaves the butt. And then this is that hurdler, kind of like that classic hurdler stretch position. And you could do that. You could stretch, you could work on opening that angle, you could work on using your hands as a little bit of support. And then we also have some other options that we can explore in another week. And then the last one is the inverted hurdler. So you'll notice I can just come right back to that figure four and I don't have to use my hands if I don't have to. Um, but the last one we're gonna work on is that inverted hurdler. So now the back leg, is going to kick out and now this is like our classic gym stretch position now this one's probably the most comfortable um, or, or between this and the figure four but the ability to move in between them is really where the gold is so can i go from an inverted hurdler to a figure four can i go to the other side can i then go back to an inverted hurdler right i can flip over back to figure four to hurdler, right? And so on. I can even kick both legs out and switch back to figure four. And just learning to move through these patterns on the floor, feel free to explore. So once you understand the basic positions, sometimes in class, in person, we'll do some games and we'll challenge people in their flexibility. But really, like I said, moving through the positions and just figuring out how to sort of flow through them is a great way to get started. So I'll show just a little bit of me moving around through the positions, figure four, I might also accidentally get into some other positions that we're not covering today. Um, and that's all right, right? You don't have to know them, but you'll notice I'm sliding the feet on the floor, trying to keep that connection. That's going to make it a little more challenging on the mobility there. Going through these positions. If something feels good and I want to add a stretch, I can do that. And there are all these options as I'm moving in and out of the floor challenging the hips. You might cramp. That's totally normal. Being able to move effectively and efficiently on the floor is for everybody. So if you know someone who struggles or maybe could use this material and they'll practice it, share it with them. It's share, yeah, share it with them. <laughs> Hold on. We want to use this channel to be a completely open source to help people move better. You don't have to be an acrobat. You don't have to be a hand balancer. You don't have to be anything to get started in movement. You just need to have a body and a desire to learn. So get after it.